how to create more confident team members, employees that can make decisions without you, but just like you would. Welcome. My name is Stacey Tushel. I help a small business powerhouses get more customers through the door, more profit in their pocket, more happiness in their homes. And today I have a golden nugget to get your pen and paper out. Now, here's the thing. I was just at a conference and they separated the room into four areas. You could go learn about traffic. You could go learn about info products, e-commerce, which is like physical products, or you could go to the systems room. And I chose the systems room. And all my friends were like, uh, Stacy, why are you in this room? You could be teaching the class. Like, what, what are you doing here? And I said to them, the reason I'm so good at systems is because I study it like crazy. And I go in with an open mind of if I can learn one thing to make me just that much better, this will be worth it. And I was right because I was in that room. And yes, 99% of everything that was said, I was already implementing. But there was this one golden nugget. My friend Jose, he was also, it's just so funny. My friend Jose is as good a systems uh, as I am. Um, and he was in that room and he shared this publicly. And I was like, this is what I came for. This was the strategy. So this is not something I've taught before because it wasn't my strategy. Um, everything I, I teach and do, it's just from years and years of studying from like systems and team, like just brilliant, brilliant people. And I just keep grabbing strategies that work for me. And then I refine them myself. So this is a strategy that I've heard. I'm now going to go back and implement with my team. And then from there, I may tweak it. I may go, you know what? I'm going to change this part of it or I'm going to change that, right? So anyway, bear with me. This is how you get team members more confident. Now, I was already doing a version of this, but I actually really like the way that this was said. I think it's going to be great for anybody that is really trying to build confidence within their team, okay? So Jose called it the one three one rule. And I'm literally looking at my notebook because I, I just wrote this down. So first of all, when somebody comes to you, uh, they need to come with a one, three, one. So number one is they come with one question or problem they're struggling with. Okay. They then come back with three possible solutions for that problem, how to solve it. And then one, they come back with what the best solution is, what they think out of those three. So one, three, one, one problem, three solutions for that problem, and then what they believe is the best solution for it, okay? Now, what happens here is as this starts to happen and they come to you, in the beginning, they might not have picked the right solution. You might have a better one, okay? But what you're doing is you're getting them to think for themselves. You're getting them to be resourceful. You're getting them to be a problem solver. This is one of the biggest things I see in small businesses. They're, they're not letting their people be problem solvers. People think he or she is the problem solver. I'm just going to go to them and they're going to fix it. And then they're going to tell me what to do and I'm going to move on. And you keep answering and then they keep thinking, well, that's really what happens. I have a problem. I go to my boss, they answer it. And that's just what I do. So you're, you're creating this, this loop, this never ending cycle of people needing you, which is why a lot of people are the bottlenecks in their business. Because if you're not there to answer them, they don't know what to do. Okay. So Having this one, three, one, even in the beginning when they're not answering correctly. And some people might surprise you, right? You might go, they might have a better idea than you. You might think like, yeah, that's great, right? But what happens is as you start to do this one, three, one process, people start to get better and better and they start to understand what this looks like, right? They start to understand how they think you would run it or you would pick that answer. So pretty soon you'll start to go, yeah, that sounds great. That, that one solution was it, like do that right? And then they're like, oh, like I did it. Like, okay. Like they, they get this confidence of, I knew the answer, right? So then what happens next time is they'll come back. Maybe they'll get it. Maybe they won't, right? But the more they start getting it, the more they start to go, I'm, I'm smart. I can handle this. Like I can do this without him or her, right? And all of a sudden at some point, as you do this process, it's going to be like a, yep, good to go. Yep. Do that. Yep. That was it. Right. Great. I love it. Do that. And the more they hear that, pretty soon they're going to stop coming to you with the 131 because they are going to know how you would want it answered, right? So now we could go into a whole other topic on this because I think the only way people know how to answer is by having very specific company values that actually mean something. So if you don't have company values guiding your team members and they have to guess three solutions, 
like this is where there's problems, right? So please, anything we've ever shared on company values, I want you to really dive in deep there. In fact, if you message me, DM me on Instagram, the word values, I've got a company values spreadsheet of just possible um, values you could be using. I want you to grab that and really look at, well, what are they? Because if my team started to come to me, but they didn't know my val- one of my values is high standards, right? I, I have, we have very, very high standards. Like we expect the best of the best when dealing with our clients. So if they figured out a solution, but it wasn't high standards, it wasn't a high quality, that's not going to help. But they know that they have to pick a solution that is in alignment with our five company values. When they have that direction, when they have that, um, what it looks like to win here, they're going to be able to answer the one, three, one faster. If you don't have values that mean something or values at all, and they start doing one, three, one, you might be thinking, Stacey, this isn't working. Like they're all over the place. Like th- they are not answering the way that I would answer. It's probably because you haven't built in the culture within your company yet. As you build in the culture and people know what you expect, they're going to be able to answer in the way that you would expect them to answer. Now, let's say you don't love the solution, the one, three, one. You don't love the ending. Okay. I would look at the answer. I would look at your company values and I would say, where are they off? And I would use it as a teachable moment. Don't just go, no, that's not what I would do. Here's what I would do. And and then they're then you're actually hurting them. You're making them less confident because they're like, every time I come with a solution, she always picks like option number four that I didn't pick, right? So what I want you to do is I want you to start to teach them why, right? So when they come with, with this, this number one of, okay, this is what I think we should do. You could say, okay, let's look at our five company values. Tell me how many of them it hits. And they might look at it and go, oh, well, you know, it's it's not very resourceful. And that's one of our values, right? And I could see how it's not really, okay, okay, great. Well, what could you do to make this more resourceful? And let them come back to you. So I had heard this from a friend who said, the problem is I, I'm the double checker. And when I double check, instead of sending it back to them, I just fix it for them. So now what I've done is I've trained everybody to just like give me a first messy draft and oh, don't worry, this this wasn't me, this was a friend, but she was like, great, they just know I'm gonna fix it. So now they're giving me garbage. Like this is why, because you shouldn't be fixing. If you're double checking something, great, but if it's not the way you want it, send it back. Get them to do it again. Get them to take ownership. And the more they take ownership and get to a result where you say, amazing, great work, I love what you did here. The more they're going to gain that confidence to know that, they actually have a place in your business where they can grow. They, they, they are getting that acknowledgement. They're feeling valued, right? Nobody wants to hear their work isn't good enough, right? So how can you put this back on them to say, okay, you know, I think it might be missing this, or I think it might be missing that. Where could we put in more of a, a, a results driven value in there and let, and, and educate them and let them continue to come to the table. Now, this one, three, one rule. Okay. It's not an overnight quick fix. This is going to take some time. How much time? It'll be different for every single person on your team. If you've hired people that are naturally just in alignment with your company values, it's going to go a lot faster. If you have people out of alignment, you're going to realize very quickly they may not be the right people on the team, right? So that's what I want you thinking about. So I hope you love this little quick tip. Again, I I stole this from my my friend Jose, um, but this is why you should be involved in masterminds and group coaching programs because there are things you will hear from other people that are very successful in their business that you can say, hey, they're already using this. They said it worked. Let's try it. Now, like I said, I've been using a version of this. I didn't have the specific one, three, one. I know this is going to work. Like when I saw this, I knew it was gold because like I said, we were doing a version and this is so much more specific and so much clearer that I know that this is going to help build confidence in your team. So um, if you want our list of all of potential company values to really Really get alignment because like I said, the one, three, one doesn't work without company values. I promise you that. Okay. Um, DM me on Instagram at Stacey Tushel values, and I will send that over to you completely free. No opt-in. All right. I hope you liked today's episode. I will see you next time.